Well, hello out there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Paul Wicks World of Entertainment. Um, this video, I'm going to be talking about the Pittsburgh Pirates and their free fall. And I, of course, when they hit the All-Star break and they were only a game under 500, and there was a lot of hope that they could and would actually compete for the playoffs, a wild card, possibly even the division. And then after then the All-Star break ended. And the Pirates have gone four and twenty-one since then. And as far as what happened, what happened with the free fall? Why why did the free fall occur? And the big first big thing is that you have to look at what was going on before the free fall when the team was winning. The team was winning because of hitting. And their hitting was overachieving. And eventually those numbers were going to come back down to earth. Josh Bell's numbers were massive heading to the All-Star break. He had a huge first half of the season, and those numbers were bound to come back down to earth. And the team was collectively not going to put up the kind of numbers that they were they had been putting up. I was at the 18-5 to game. It was absolutely incredible. But you're not going to score tons and tons of runs every time out. And so when I look at the team, the biggest problem, problem of course is with the pitching staff and now that is not to say that that is their only problem by any means but they're the biggest problem that the pirates have had throughout the season has been their pitching staff it has been consistently um below average to downright poor and they have had a lot of injuries and they, of course Jamison Tyone who was their ace is out for the season and unknown as far as next season goes um, however even going beyond that players that they have had when they have come back from injuries have been very very ineffective and pitchers who have previously been good to downright dominating are now for some reason performing way below what was expected if the pirates had the pitching that they had last season with the hitting that they've had this season um they could be leading the division but Unfortunately, the pitching has fallen off big time. They have had Chris Archer, who has, in general, not performed well since he came over in the trade last year. And, in general, the, the team's pitching has underperformed. And there are there can be a lot of reasons for that. Of course, you have injuries, and when you're coming back from an injury and, and you're not performing, that could easily mean you're coming back from the injury too quickly. Um, it, That's one possibility. And then the other possibility is that physically they're healed, but the problem is it's in their head. Um, anytime you have an injury, that hampers you in some way when you're trying to come back from that even when you're physically okay it there can still be a problem you know up in your head it, it's and the issue though is that this has been a collective problem not just a problem with one or two of their pitchers but collectively they have been they've they have been bad. So, as far as changes go, um, I don't want to call out anybody. But, 
anytime you're dealing with a problem that is a collective problem, that would actually that that would mean there there the problem would be with coaching. And I'm not going to actually call them out, but yet when whenever you're having a problem and it's a collective problem and it's not just one pitcher or two pitchers, it is in general across the board, they're underachieving. Then that is what you really um what really needs to be addressed. Um that has to change. These pitchers have shown in the past that they can produce. They can pitch well. They can dominate. They're capable of dominating games. And, you know, that to get that back, um, you know, you, just because it's not there doesn't mean you necessarily do away with the pitchers. I mean, the fact is once you know the ability is there um that is not something you want to just let go that is something that should be retained and you work and do everything you can to get those pitchers back up and and achieving their full potential and that's where the overhaul of the team um, I'm not so sure how well, especially on their pitching staff, that would go. Uh, you could. Um, I, I wasn't even. I, I was actually disappointed that they just kind of let Nick Kingham go um, way too early. He had. He still had potential. He was still young. He was still very inexperienced, and they pretty much just dumped him off. Um, and they've they've done that with some other players that I mean I when I look at it and I just can think why um, why give up on these players so quickly and then they'll go to other teams figure things out and could have happened here if we actually had the patience and actually were able to work with them and get help them get their heads in the game. And I hate to say it, but coaches have to be psychologists. Um, they have to work with, when they're working with pitchers, it's not just about the pitcher's fundamentals. It's not just about what they're doing. They have the tools. Um, in large part, it's, it's what's in their head. And... That apparently has been a problem for Chris Archer since he's been here. And that's been a problem throughout a lot of the season for the majority of the Pirates' pitchers. And, the, and certainly most of the starting pitchers. They haven't had much to go on. Um, that's really where the improvement has to go. That's what has to be addressed. And that, that, that's some very difficult decisions as to whether or not those arms can still get it done. If they can get back to where they were, if they can get better and perform. But you know that Joe Musgrove, and you know that and among other of those starting pitchers, have performed well and have been downright dominating in the past. And that's not a situation where you want to give up on those arms. You hope that they can pull through, figure things out, and go back to their dominating form. And if they do, if they can do that, the Pirates do have... They they have some some very good position players at this point. They have really um, they now have Newman and Reynolds to go along with Marte and Bell, and they obviously need 
need need need others to come through as well. But they there the possibility is there if their pitching staff can return to its previous form. They have the potential to to still do to do well. Um, that I look at the free fall, and it, they've had some spot good starts, but it's <laughs> it, it's been a few, very few, and and the you know you hope for the best, and I don't know how much of this falls on Neil Huntington, or I don't know how much of this falls on Bob Nutting. Or Clint Hurdle, but it it appears as though a large part of the issue for the Pirates is with the pitching staff, and one way or another, whether they can get their current arms to figure it out, or if they have to bring someone else in, um, that's where the attention needs to be paid. And if you, if changes have to be made, you know you, you know if you're going with either the pitching staff or the coach. I mean the pitching staff. I mean the coach has performed in the past as well. I mean obviously they've had some great pitching in the past. But you go away. Do you do away with the arms or do you do away with the coach? It, um. I. I hate to say it because of the fact that it's kind of consistently and across the board hasn't been good. I would say it would, I, if I'm doing away with one of the two, it would be the coach. If it were one player or two players, that would be one thing. If they still had some players performing really well, the only, the only one they have that is really performing well still is Vasquez. And unfortunately, they haven't been in much of a position to utilize them. But that is the um, that is their situation. I certainly hope that they can figure things out and start to perform again. Um, but that'll do it for this video. Um, please hit the like and the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be you can get get notified whenever I upload a new video and that'll do it and everybody have a wonderful day